Hi, this is Aaron Lostness, and today I'm going to cover an overview on Spanish verb tenses. In this lesson, I'm going to cover seven tenses, the rules on how to use them, how to conjugate them, and then if there's time, we'll go over a quick little quiz. So verbs end in either AR, IR, or ER. There are several tenses, but I'm only going to cover seven. The present tense. I speak. Yo hablo. The present progressive. I am speaking. Estoy hablando. The present perfect. I have spoken. He hablado. The preterite tense. I spoke. Yo hablé. The imperfect tense. I was speaking or I used to speak. Yo hablaba. The future tense. I will speak or I shall speak. Yo hablará. And lastly, the conditional tense. I would speak. Yo hablaría. Okay, the present tense. It's used to describe what is happening and what is true now. It reports on both the specific now and the general now. So what you do is you take off the AR, ER, and IR and you add the appropriate ending. We're going to use hablar to speak in his example. Yo hablo. Tú hablas. Él, ella, o usted habla. Nosotros hablamos. Ellos, ellas, and ustedes hablan. Now, as you can see, there's a couple ways you can say you. If you're familiar with a person, you use tú. If you're not familiar with a person and it's a formal situation, you use usted. So, on the right are the verb endings for ER and IR. As you can see, they're relatively similar. Also, these are the verb endings for regular verbs. There's going to be irregular verbs in all of these tenses. The present progressive. It's used to indicate what the person is doing right now. You can easily spot it because it has an ING in the sentence. So, the verb endings are for AR. You drop the AR and you add ANDO. So it would be hablando. For ER and IR, you drop that and you add yendo. So estoy bebiendo or viviendo. I am eating or I am living. The present perfect. It's used to indicate that the action was completed recently. Now this is a compound tense, meaning it requires a helping verb. Haber, meaning to have. So for yo, it's e. For tu, it's as. El, ella, and usted is a. Nosotros is hemos. And el, ellas, and ustedes is an. And then you add the verb. So for the ar, you remove that and you add ado. For the er and ir, you remove those and you add ido. An example, I have spoken. He hablado. She has eaten. Ha comido. We have lived. Hemos vivido. Okay, the preterite tense. It's a fixed point of time, a specific amount of actions, an enclosed amount of time. So like the present tense, you remove the AR, ER, and IR, and you add the appropriate ending. It's E, Aste, O, Amos, and Aron for the AR. And for the ER and IR, it's E. Iste, ios, imos, and ieron. Okay, the imperfect tense is also a past tense. It refers to actions that took place either repeatedly or over an extended period of time. You use it for clock time and age. So basically, you remove the ar, er, and ir again and you add the appropriate ending. As you can see, the AR verbs end completely different than the ER and IR. You use aba, abas, aba, abamos, and aban for AR. And for ER, you use ia, ias, ia, iamos, and ian. Okay, the future tense. It's used to describe actions that will take place. Now, 
unlike the present and the preterite, where you remove the er, ar, and ir, with the future tense, you leave the verb intact, and then you add on the appropriate ending. Now, these are the verb endings for all verbs. There are only 13 irregular verbs in the future tense. The conditional tense is very similar to the future tense. It's used to describe events that are not guaranteed to happen, and they're often dependent on certain conditions. Just like the future tense, it shares the same 13 irregular verbs, and you keep the entire verb, and you add the appropriate ending. Now, this is going to look familiar, because they're the same as the endings for the imperfect, ER and IR verbs. The difference is, for the imperfect, you remove the ER and IR, and you add the appropriate ending. For the conditional, you leave the entire verb intact, and then you add the appropriate ending. So this is an overview of all the tenses we learned. The present would be, I speak or she speaks. The preterite would be, I spoke or he spoke. Imperfect would be, he was speaking or I used to speak. The future would be, I will speak. And the conditional would be, I would speak. Now these are the endings for all the regular verbs. There's also going to be irregular verbs that do not follow this pattern. And the present progressive, I am speaking. And the present perfect, I have spoken. Okay, we got a little bit of time. Let's go over a quiz. I'm going to give you an example like I used to speak and she spoke. We're going to use the verb hablar. I'll give you a couple seconds, and then you're supposed to say yo hablaba and ella habló. All right. I am speaking. Estoy hablando. She used to speak. Hablaba. They will speak. Hablarán. You spoke. Two ways to say it. Tú hablaste o usted habló. I speak. Yo hablo. They have spoken. Ellos han hablado. We would speak. Hablaríamos. You speak. Tú hablas o usted habla. Okay, we reached the end. If you have any questions, you can email me at alostness at hotmail.com or you can go to my website, Lostness Group dot com backslash spanish underscore lessons there's about 30 to four more lessons with workbooks there for you thank you very much